North Node Astrological Consultations, available now at sacredtea.net. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shop Bliss, and I'm here to tap into these charts and um, just give a little explanation of the things that I see, a little interpretation. Is this written in stone? Absolutely not. This is just what I see um, from my perspective and what stands out to me and what I think may transpire with these particular alignments that we are dealing with. So last time we went over these charts and the alignment had it in a way where we were seeing all of this planetary energy in Gemini. Well, what I'm looking at right now is the sidereal chart. It is not the tropical chart. Sidereal astrology is actually looking at the planetary alignments, where they are in the sky. Tropical astrology looks at it from a perspective along the ecliptic, which moves the planets 24 degrees ahead. Don't ask me why, but believe it or not, you can find truth in that even though the planets are not where they actually are in the sky. Please don't ask me to get into that because that has been a mystery to me all in itself. Sidereal astrology. Take a telescope and I'm looking into the sky. This is where the planets are right now. At the time I snapshot this little screenshot of the chart, we were at Virgo, so the planetary ruler of this particular chart will be Mercury. Mercury rules communication, so communications will be all about this money because Mercury is in the sign of Taurus as well as the plethora of planets. Another stellium we're looking at, but this time the stellium is in Taurus. It's all about the money. You best believe money, market, stocks, bonds, land, agriculture, real estate, anything of value, gold, silver, commodities. Listen, these stock markets will be extremely volatile. And the reason why I say that is because Uranus is now at the critical degree. It has left Aries and it is now in Taurus. What does that mean? Well, it could possibly mean there is going to be a disruption in the monetary system. There can be an abrupt change in the monetary system. And this planetary alignment is actually in conjunction with Jupiter. Here we go again. This is that conjunction Mama T was talking about. It's happening again. But the uh, orb that Jupiter has with Uranus is nine degrees. It's a little wide, but yet and still, it's still effective and you can feel it, meaning that this Jupiter expands whatever it touches. It will magnify it. It will expand its reach, maybe even globally. Uranus rules change in the sign that rules money. Uranus rules technology in the sign that rules money. Uranus rules disruptions in the sign that rules money. You put that together, honey, there's a storm coming if it ain't here already. The storm is brewing. The storm is brewing. Uranus also rules lightning, so this thing can happen lightning fast. You know, they're giving warnings about this thing. You hear a lot of talk about it. So you can confirm what they're talking about through the planetary alignments of the stars because trust and believe they are studying the movement and this is how they make it their movements now mercury is as well is in taurus mercury deals with contracts written words it could be even laws that are being written why do i say that because it's next to the sun as well as it's next to venus venus can rule law as well because venus is ruled by libra and in this particular chart, Libra is the ruler of the second house of earned income as well as money. Money when it comes to income and laws? Will there be changes that may happen? Listen, it may short the people because at the same time, it is squaring Saturn and Aquarius. Now, Saturn will restrict, limit, hinder, block, delay things that come, that deal with, in this particular case, money, income, relationships. People fighting over money. People divorced over money. Lawsuits out this piece. Big payout when it comes to lawsuits. A lot of losses when it comes to relationships and money. We need to take a look at this thing. 
What kind of loopholes was in the contract that people will be trying to extract a lot of that money out of there? Hidden, hidden loopholes because in this particular chart, Leo is the ruler of the 12th house. The 12th house rules everything hidden or unseen. Whoo! What will be coming to light in the ninth house? Now, this is happening in the ninth house. This is in my area. This may not be where you are. This is just what I'm seeing in this particular country that I'm in right now, dealing with foreigners. Foreign currency may be a big thing happening over here in Mexico. There may be a change in currency, how you deal with foreigners, with foreign money. Something also dealing with the health care. Because you now have Saturn in the sixth house and Uranus, some kind of changes in law with the health care, dealing with the people that may uh, cause a lot of money to be lost. Okay, because remember, Saturn brings losses. And also, there is going to be a square coming up with Venus, as well as the sun, with Neptune. Now, all of these things happen with money, right? With all of this, with the stellium going on in, in, in Taurus that deals with money. So when Neptune crosses over and actually does go into Gemini, well, then it's going to create a square with Neptune and Pisces. So something hidden, this thing dissolves, you know, this is like a dissolving of money, like a black hole out this piece, like you, it's a money pit because, you know, you have Neptune in Pisces, actually, it's really in Pisces. So there's no boundaries in the water. The water is endless. So you might be Pouring out money, an outpouring of money, it's just never ending. You're in this money pit. You keep spending money, lost, lost contracts, loopholes, like I said, because now Venus will be in Gemini. That rules contracts, written words. And Venus rules the law. Whatever laws they may be writing will have a significant impact on the people. Taxes. More taxes that being you have to pay. All of these things I'm just seeing, I'm putting it out there. Now, the volatility that, well, let's go back. Let's go back to this Jupiter, Uranus conjunction at the critical degree of Taurus. Unexpected events happening in the stock market, bonds, currency, crypto, right? Now, Pluto is making a really nice trine, all of this. So this can be pretty phenomenal. Like this is tycoon billionaire money right here. This can happen overnight. This is what we may be looking at the transfer of wealth taking place. There's a big dip coming as well as a rise. Somebody pockets about to empty and somebody's pockets are about to get full. But here's the thing. Pluto is in Capricorn. Capricorn rules the governments, though. What are the governments about to do when it comes to money and the money system? Because, you know, they're ahead of the game, y'all. They gonna get the bank. That's why you got to move with the money movers, the market movers, the way the banks move. Because when you move the way they move, you'll be ahead of the game. You know what I'm talking about? You got to get down the way they get down because they are, they move, they, they move according to the stars. This is why they stay ahead of the game. And we're lagging behind. Now, speaking of governments, that square with Pluto and Mars at the exact degree, seven degree. Now we're talking that Neptune Mm -hmm. Okay, let me break this down. Pluto in Capricorn deals with the power of the government, okay? When it makes a square to Mars in Aries, you're dealing with war energy, military energy, aggression, aggressive moves that may be taking place. Um, with the government when it comes to money, you know what I'm saying? The authority, they're going to probably pull a power move when it comes to money, uh, finances, uh, money systems, um, the way money is dealt, the type of systems that may be created from this. All right. A lot of people were talking about, hey, guys, you know, you might want to get into the game of putting your money and being a little bit more versatile with your money, a little bit more flexible and hedging your bets because we don't know which way this thing finna go. We just really don't because it's unpredictable. I bet you they don't even know how it's going to turn out. 
Because whatever they're planning and they're plotting, they are taking Uranus and Jupiter into account because at the same time, Uranus does rule the masses. It does rule the populace. And it's next to Jupiter expanding the reach of the populace and the transformation that will be taking place with the populace dealing with money, finances. That crypto may make a lot of people rich and it also may make a lot of people poor, depending upon which coins you are holding. But they, at the same time now, there is going to be significant losses with Saturn and Aquarius squaring Neptune in Taurus as well. So this deals with partnerships and relationships with money. Maybe the relationship that you got with your bank may not last very long. It may be a new way you're doing with relationships, but something has to end and something may be breaking. Somebody's word's going to be broken. Some laws may be broken because all of this, including the sun, is squaring Saturn. Remember, Saturn rules is ruled by Capricorn, and Capricorn rules the governments, and Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius that deals with the people making a square to Venus that rules money, the sun. I really can't forget about the sun because the sun rules leaderships. It rules authority, rules presidents. It also can rule the prosperity of a nation with its squaring Saturn in Aquarius. That's social standings. Social security? Oh my God. This is going to be a mess. It could be, maybe. I ain't trying to scare y'all. Like, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm just trying to prepare y'all because all of this is happening in the sign of Taurus right now, where the signs actually are in the sky. All right? And all of this is surrounded by governments, government moves, banking systems, and the people. All right. When will all of this be triggered? When will the floor just empty out in front of everybody or the other shoe will drop? It will probably be, we need to watch the movement of the moon. Now the moon is in its waxing state. So the energy is increasing. I'll be looking at when the moon goes into Leo, squaring the sun. Most likely when the moon goes into Leo, squaring Uranus and Jupiter. And when the moon is also squaring Venus and the moon squares the sun and Mercury, moon just in Leo, period. It's just going to square that whole house. Leo is going to be dealing with the leadership, public figures, economic prosperity, the life force that influenced the collective, Lord, social dynamics. We're going to have to take a look at this thing, huh? We may have to revisit this thing and come back. But anyway, watch your coins, watch your pennies, start diversifying if you haven't already. Hedge your bets because you don't know which way this thing is going. And I don't think even the government know and they're preparing because the people are going to rebel and revolt if you start tinkering with their little bit of pennies. If Mars and Pluto ain't playing around, and they prepared to call out the big gun just in case you want to act a little crazy. That's why you got to be smart when you're moving out here in these financial streets. Watch the money makers. Watch the market movers. All right? Watch the bankers. Watch who they taking pictures with. Mm-hmm. Watch who they shaking hands with. Look at how they moving money. In crypto, y'all could go and look at wallets. Somebody going to have to drop it in the comments where you could look at the wallets of the whales. Who's buying what? Where they putting it at? Who's selling what? This is going to be a quick switch, quick turnaround, quick shift. A lot of money may fall out and a lot of money may go somewhere else. I think y'all need to be watching gold. If y'all know how to look at the charts, watch gold and silver because... They're at the bottom of the RSI in certain charts. Y'all know what that is, if those of you who watch the charts. And the dollar is uh, peaking. It's, it's, it's looking like it's going through a little exhaustion on the daily chart and on the four-hour chart, even on the weekly chart. So you might want to take a look at that because you know the correlations of the dollar and gold. And Bitcoin might be in there in the middle, but I really don't think it's about Bitcoin this time around. Because Bitcoin might take a hit because in astrology, Bitcoin is the sun. And Saturn is squaring the sun in Taurus. Stay tuned. Because there's a whole movie out here. We are in the midst of one financial flippity flop, I think. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but with this Neptune and Pisces squaring 
Venus in the sun, as well as Mercury. Somebody could be out here lying in these streets about certain things. It's not square Mercury yet, but it's coming. There's going to be some lies in the word and contract. Watch the news and the shit that they be saying. There's going to be a lot of lies telling around here, right? And Saturn is going to be pulling in the ropes and tightening up on that Venus, on that money spending, government spending, things that are spending with the people. Oh, it might be a little tight, especially squaring with the sun. The, 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 the heads of state, those are position of authority. They're not going to be looking kind of, they're not going to be looking too favorable out here when it comes to this money. Especially the Federal Reserve. Like, I'll be waiting on the announcements with the Federal Reserve and the saying about to come out with, you know, they lying and, you know, and they say, oh, everything is fine. Don't panic. Oh, you should have already moved your money around. But keep an eye on the market, y'all. Keep an eye on how things is flowing. Take a look. Get your fibs out there. Get your, your resistance and your support zones because every, this show, it, everything is in alignment for a big dip and a big takeoff. Okay. Gold look like it can bounce off of a support level if you if if you're studying that a little bit. Uh, Bitcoin is uh, is is in the zone that it's been for a little bit and ain't breaking that 69k 70k. It's, it's hovering around there, but to sleep in all this just might be that XRP because it's been laying low for months, and if anything, that might be taking off. It could be that. Now, this isn't financial advice, like I said. Learn how to mark up them charts so you can identify the dip, you can identify the trends, and you can see what's going to drop and what's going to take off. And you just might be able to hedge your bets just a little bit better than what you have been. Well, that's it, folks. That's all I'm going to leave you with. There's plenty there. Continue to dig. Continue to do the research. I think I want to get a little astrological club going on. Those of us who like to study astrology as well as these markets. And let's get ourselves in position and play these folks like they've been playing us. What you think? That's it, y'all. Signing off. And if you wanted to book an astrological consultation with me, feel free to contact me at sacredtea.net. You can book online. And just for those listening to this show right now, I'm going to give you a little discount code. Just type in sacred111. Save you a couple of pennies on your next read with me. All right. Once again, sacred111 is the discount code. If you wanted to book an astrological consultation with me and maybe find out where you need to be positioned, to get your bucket ready. All right, y'all. Y'all stay good. Peace. Love y'all. Divine 999. Let's go. Let's they go. slept on us, baby. Let's go. They didn't think we was going to wake go. up. Divine 999. They didn't they had us on the spell forever. They didn't know that there Let's was an expiration. Divine 999. Let's go. The spell. Let's go. Time to go get your keys, Let's baby. Go. Divine 999. Activate. It's your time, baby. You feeling activated, What's baby? That? Come on now. It's time. Oh, yeah. It's our time now, it's baby. Time. Divine Femi 9. Available now at sacredtea.net. Yeah. Divine 999. Let's go.